Welcome back. We had our first advanced defense shooting class and at the beginning it was very challenging but as expected all my students did very well. Now from this class everybody has to bring their actual concealed carry weapon and the holster and how they're gonna carry it. Now one of the students his comfort zone is having an unloaded pistol so he has to chamber it as he fires. Again things get a little challenging but I want to show you everything so we can learn together and I also want to share what we learn at the end of the video. And on each course, I'm gonna show you one video of when they were struggling, and then last two videos, how much they improved in the short time. So that was a big learning curve today. Okay, the first course was safety and accuracy. And in basic defense shooting, we were shooting a 15 inch paper target, but now it's three inch steel target. So the size of the target really shrunk a lot, and that gives you the extra pressure. And even with a little bit of anticipation, you could completely miss a target. So this can be very confusing. And to make things worse, they change that pistol to compact size, which they're gonna actually consider carry. So everything was different. Recoil is different. The point of impact is different. And accuracy definitely changed. But once they got their anticipation corrected, they were doing really well. So accuracy 여섯 바까지는 허용이 되고요. 무조건 네 개까지 다 맞춰야 되는 거고 여섯 개 안에 못 맞으면 디큐 되는 거고. <웃음> 4.03 Stand by! Make it safe! Make it safe. Make it safe. Stand by. <laughs> Make it safe. Make it safe. Nice. Wow, Dota. Make it safe. Next is their first time barking the command, and the command has to be short and clear. Like, stop, no. Now, one thing I didn't want them to say was drop your weapon. That could be very confusing because policemen say that a lot because they have two or three policemen with them, and they're ready to go, and they're barking the order saying, drop your weapon. Now, as an individual, when somebody's carrying a weapon and they're within your safe zone coming at you, drop your weapon, it's not right. You should be already defending yourself. So in this class, we're not gonna say things like drop your weapon, but something short and clear. Stop and no. With a standby, they're gonna block the order, and with a bit, they're gonna draw and double tap two steel targets. Ready position. Weapon 들어가 있는 상태예요. 이 상태에 손 내밀고 stop no 하고 삐삐 하면은 뽑아서 빵빵빵빵. 근데 그 가장 중요한 것은 이 손이 들어와야 돼요. 이손 여기다 놓고 이거 나가면 안 돼요. 이거 손 클라니까 이 상태에서 들어오면서 나가야 돼요. 그래서 우리가 이거 연습 몇번 해야 돼요. 오케이. Okay? 그래서 우리가 이 상태에서 올린 상태에서 stop no 이렇게 해요. stop no 4.99 Stand by Stop! No! Nice Thank you, Steve Stand by Stop! No! Two point six zero. Stand by Stop! No! 
Make it safe. 이게 얘기하면서 쏠려니까 이게 예, 뭔가 좀 떨리네. <웃음> 그렇죠, 떨리죠. 시간 좋아. 3.33이에요. Stand by. Stop. No. 오케이, 아주 좋았어요. Stand by. Stop. No. 오, 2.02. 거의 2초를 깰 뻔했는데. Stand by. Stop. No. 오케이, okay, make it safe. Stand by. Stop. No. 이렇게 세이브 좋아요 3.5에 시간 아주 좋아요 스탠 바이 스톱 노! 오 아주 좋았어요 베리 굿 스탠 바이 스톱 노! 오케이 이렇게 세이브 스탠 바이 스톱 노! 좋아요. Make it safe. Stand by. Stop. No. 아, 다 죽었다. 다 죽었어. Oh, 2.46. Next is going to be the situation where you feel the immediate danger for your life, where everything's going to happen within three to five yards and three to five seconds. So we don't have time to block the command. For throw and shot, no, and triple tap. But here it's kind of hard to notice for Shiro to know if they hit it three times or four times. So toward the end, we decided to just go for four shots and see how many we hit. Okay, the next time, we're going to FBI. We have 90% of the actual suicide bombings are three yards to five yards. It's all a surprise attack. I didn't think about it. But it's suddenly my safe zone. I feel safe when I'm safe. We're going to five yards. But five yards away, who's going to be suddenly? 총을 들었든지 칼을 들었든지 뭐 야구 방망이 들었든지 파이프를 들었든지 뭐가 됐든 간에 나를 향해 댐볐을 때 아니면 무기가 없더라도 뭐 헤이트 크라임 아니면 뭐 성폭행 이런 것은 그냥 댐비잖아 했을 때 내가 어택을 느꼈을 때는 커맨드 할 시간이 없어 일단은 벌써 나는 액션을 들어가야 되기 때문에 액션을 하면서 또 총을 빼고 노 no! 하는 거 소리 질르고 쏘는 거예요 슈레디 스탠바이 노! 몇번 봤어요? 세 번, 예, 다섯 봤어요. 세번 봤어요. 세번 봤어요? 예. 와, 이게 잘 모르겠네. 예. Sure, ready, stand by. No! 2.67 seconds. Sure, ready, stand by. No! Can you make it safe? 2.42 seconds, 3 shot, 3 hit. Stand by. No! Okay, make it safe. 2.88. Stop, no! No! Oh, good. Make it safe. Stand by. 좋아요. 백발 백중. 2.83. 스어 좋아요. 시간은 2.63이요. 스탠 바이. 노. 오케이. 노. 오케이. 3 샷, 3 힛. 시간은 2.74요. No. Oh, 아주 좋았어요. Oh, nice. 2.6 nice. 하나 백발백 중이요. Next is when we are out in the public with a family and you are not really considering but having your pistol in a small bag. Now, if you're never gonna carry a bag, they're gonna have a gun under their shirt, so it's gonna be drawn fire. But for myself and one other student, we actually carry a small bag to conceal a pistol. And in the case of mass shooting. I have a means to protect myself. And as you know, mass shooting is getting worse year by year, and this is not something we should take it lightly.
Yeah, 4.46 seconds. Okay, make it safe. 3.52 seconds, five shots, four hits. Okay, make it safe. 3.79 seconds, five shots, five hits. Okay. 이게 다 재밌네. 패스턴도 없으니까. Stand by. No. Okay. Oh, five shot, five hit, two point six nine. 아주 좋으세요. 근데 여기서 노안 하는 거. 아, 5 shot, four hit, two point six one. I think five hits. Two point four seven. Okay, make it safe. Three point nine nine. 좋아요. Okay, very good. 한발 미스. Five shot, four hit. Time three point six nine. Can make it safe. Okay, make it safe. Five point four four. Oh, nice. wow, two point seven one. 시간도 아주 좋아요. Next is gonna be most realistic shooting of this class, which is one hand shooting. But just to make it more realistic, I decided to add one dummy round on each session, so they actually have to clear the jam and continue to fire. Now, one correction that I want to make it here. In the past, as I was taught at USCCA class, when you clear the jam, you grab it with your whole hand and you rack and roll. Now, problem with this that I found out is that you have to withdraw your pistol, rack and roll. But if your hand is covering the ejector port, the jamming ammunition doesn't eject, it goes back into the chamber, pushing to have a double feeding, and it could be a disaster. So even when I'm hunting, I like to have my rifle on the target at all times for the next follow-up shot if necessary. So I told my students, we're gonna have the hand extended firing. When it jams, we stay here, left hand comes, and we're gonna slingshot and roll and continue to fire. Now I believe this will be more efficient and faster. So when you're facing a criminal, face to face, guns pointing at each other, and when you get jammed, you don't have time to do this. It's gonna be more like this and continue to shoot. Stand by. Stop! No! Okay, make it safe. 5.87 seconds. Shoot already, stand by. Stop! No! Shoot already, stand by. Stop! No! I see. Shoot already, stand by. Stop! No! Stand by. Stop! No! Make it safe. 4.43 seconds. Stand by. No! Oh, oh, shit. Stand by. Stop, no! Okay. Time is 4.83 seconds. Stand by! Stop, no! Okay, make it safe. Oh, the time is very good. 4.20. Stand by! Jim, you go get 
Stay. Stand by. Stop. Good shot. Okay. Stand by. Stop. Yeah, host I see where you are. Stand by. No. Nothing say. And our last course was balloon competition. Now again, I changed a little bit just to make it more challenging and fun and more nerve-wracking. So we're gonna have five balloons. So each person has to shoot two of their balloons and whoever shoots the middle one first wins the competition. Shooters ready, stand by. <laughs> stand by. Stand by. Okay, make it safe. Stand by. Okay. Now, what did we learn today? Having more realistic self-defense shooting, we all learn a lot and we are very, very happy we had a chance to do this before actual self-defense situation happens to us. So first thing that I want to share with you is that one of my students really wanted to know what happened if he doesn't clean his gun. So he didn't clean his gun for a while and at the beginning he didn't have any problems. But toward the end of the class, because we did a lot of shooting today, his gun was getting jammed on almost every session. So now he knows he has to clean his gun after every use of his pistol because his life can depend on it.